Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Back to the Future. All right, so now we need to find out why Trixie won't betray Kid Tannen and also find out what the hell this guy's doing here. Hey, I know you. You're Parker. Ask for Danny, Danny Parker. Hill Valley PD. He's drunk. Uh, have we met? You with Mephilia. Mephilia. <laughs> it's familiar, not Mephilia. <laughs> yep, he's totally drunk. You've been having troubles. Troubles? Buddy, nobody knows the troubles I see. Wanna talk about them? Do, do I? Do I? Yeah, I do. Listen, it all started when this car... <sighs> yeah, now, about those troubles. Alright. Why does Parker alright, so here's how we do it. We gotta we gotta choose this. We gotta find the right thing to play. Alright, so no no that. We have to play a certain song to find out to find out why this guy's not doing his job and shit. So now we can find out what's troubling him and shit. Danny. You. So about those troubles. They all started on uh, June 14th. I was chasing down one of Tannen's boys. When this, uh, this car, went straight out of Buck Rogers, popped up out of nowhere and ran my car off the road. No. Oh, man. Then later I, I lost track of a witness. Poor Schlub hasn't been heard from since. That wasn't your fault. And then, to top it off, I somehow managed to lose custody of an 80-year-old arsonist. And not one, but two of those godforsaken space cars showed up and whisked him away. That's unbelievable. That's what the chief said. Demoted me on the spot. My family sent me to a psych psychiatrist because they thought I was seeing things. And worst of all, my gal Betty left me because she thinks I'm a bad provider and a head case. <laughs> Betty, as in Jennifer's grandma, Betty? <laughs> what? Listen, Danny, it's really important that you get back together with Betty. Ah, oh, that shit sailed. The heck with her. I got a little secret that'll set me up with women twice as classy as Betty will ever be. Oh. See you later, Danny. I'll be. Alright, so, hold on, gotta go back here. I'm pretty sure if, even if she selected yes, then it would still see, his answer would still say no. Like even if you chose either answer, it'd still be no. 
So sometimes it's like, what's the point of multiple choices if you if if it's if it's still one thing, you know? Um, Artie. What about Artie McFly? Hasn't he been missing for two months? That's true, and all signs point to a tannin job. Oh God, I've made a horrible mistake. I thought if I could get my hands on some money, that Betty'd take me back. But when she finds out what I've done, she'll never even talk to me again. <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> Oh, Alright, now there's one more song we need to get before before his little mission is done. But right now we we gotta um Actually wait, can I do where's um Alright, there you are. Hey bartender, what'll it be? Um There. What are you drawing? I'm not a celebrity caricature. You drew those? Prohibition ain't gonna last forever, Bob. I gotta have a skill I can fall back on when all this goes away. <sighs> so about this, uh, portrait gallery of yours. What about it? What's it all about? Who are those guys? <clears throat> the caricatures hanging along the wall of honor commemorate those who are no longer with us on account of having tipped off one Irving Kid Tannen. Are the guys the kids killed? Well, of course not. They're just a bunch of guys that kids didn't particularly like, and that at a later date turned up dead. It's a, a what do you call it? A, a circumstantial coincidence. Yeah. Thanks for Can I? Time. Order a drink. This ain't no. Oh. Yep. Mm. Oh. Alright. Can I? You think you could draw a picture of this guy? Sure. Hey, that looks like that Artie McFly think. I never noticed that before. Hey, uh, can you give him a hat like Artie wears? Should I come back for it? Suit yourself. Alright. Now that, that is going to be important for later on. We'll have to come back for it, but it'll be really important later on. <sighs> Excuse me. Are you Trixie Trotter? That's what it says on my dressing room door. At least, it would if I had a dressing room. Um... No, not yet. I gotta wait for a certain scene. Gotta, gotta wait for the scene to be done. Um... What's a nice guy like you doing with a guy like Tannen? Oh, kid ain't so bad. He just takes some... Hey, Toots. Any chance you could sing that can-can number? The guys really love the way it shows off your, uh, assets. Whatever you say, kid. <laughs> and quit lazing around. I ain't paying you to yak with the drunks. Not even drunk. You're not even drunk. He's fun. not even drunk. What were we talking about again? <sighs> you were telling me what a great guy a kid is. Yeah, I guess he is a pretty crummy boyfriend. But until my insurance policy checks out, I guess I'm stuck with them. Insurance? Yeah. Look, I may not be the brightest bulb in the marquee, but even I know, you don't break up with a creep-like kid without something to keep him from going all crazy on you. <clears throat> What's this insurance policy all about? Are you kidding? There's only one person I trust with my secrets, but I ain't seen him in weeks. You don't mean... Artie McFly. Artie McFly. You know him? Not as well as I thought. Before he took a powder, Artie was tutoring me in all sorts of stuff. Etiquette, philosophy, accountant. He's a regular renaissance oh, man. man. He even had one of those smart guy professor's pipes, see? Can I borrow this? Sure. I've been secretly working on my get-out-of-kid card for weeks now, but Artie's the only one I trust to check my work. You can't be too careful when you're dealing with a maniac like Kid, you know. Hey, if I arrange a meeting with Artie, could you use that insurance of yours? Use it? Heck, if what I'm sitting on pans out, I could send that bozo all the way to the big house. I'll see what I can do. Break <sighs> a leg out there. Thanks. She's supposed to turn on Kid Tannen tonight? Okay, Doc, if you say so. Alright, so... 
We gotta get him to arrest Kid Tannen, and we gotta get her to betray Kid Tannen. Now, I gotta freaking go out there, because there's stuff I gotta do, but there's also a thing I need to get so I can get him to be, his little side mission to be done. Alright, let's go. Hey. Oh, wait, I forgot about this. I forgot about this part. Quality material. Who are you? Where are you from? The name's, uh, Sonny Crockett. Uh, duh. Uh, <laughs> I didn't know which one to choose. 1931 kid, you know, hanging out in speakeasies and, uh, soaking in the scene. Average kids don't dress that way. Come on, what's the dough? Spill it or I'll go easy, kid. From the cut of the suit, I'm thinking he might be with the Valenti gang. Is that so? Uh, I don't know, I don't know, um, 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 um. Uh, yeah, <clears throat> prove it. You ain't leaving till you show me some bona fides. Yeah, um, you literally cannot leave until you show him something. And it's this. You have to show him this. If you don't show him this, you can't get out of the freaking speakeasy. You're stuck in there unless you give him that. I've got a little something here that might convince you. Don't even blink. Oh, shit. It's not a real gun. It's not a real gun, I swear. Oh. It's a gift from Don Valenti. See? To your family from mine, in gratitude for your continued service, J.J. Valenti. Looks like little Sonny Crockett here really is with the Sacramento boys. You got stones, Pee Wee. I like that. Have yourself a drink. On the house. Matches. Put down your gun. You look like a moron. <sighs> Alright, now that that's <laughs> out of the way. Let's let's get out of here. Alright. <gasps> hey, Artie. Artie! He's back. Yeah. I gotta go talk to Artie. I gotta go get to Artie now. So there's Doc. Oh, Edna! I have to go talk to her. She has one of the things I need. One of the things I need to freaking um hey, help with the mission to Crockett. get. What can I do for you? <clears throat> um, which one was it? Which one is it? What was that song you were singing earlier? Do you like it? I wrote it myself. It really gets the toes tapping at the Stay Sober Society meetings. Although I suppose that could be the shakes. Would you like to hear it again? Sure. Uh, sure. I knew if I waited long enough, somebody would request it. <coughs> don't dis- You two- Uh, I don't know if- <laughs> Sorry, but I don't have time so? for to, um- yeah, it's, uh, I don't have time to wait on that one. One needs a good book if one is fishing for souls. I need, um, to get that song. Do you think I could have a copy of your- you should care lyrics. I've uh, got a club of my own that could really use some inspiring. Sure. Let me just get a page out of the hymnal. There you are. Hey, thanks. All right. See you in a couple of months. I'm great, and I owe it all to you. Really? Yes. That <clears throat> argument I had with my father during our jet drill experiment gave me the incentive to finally quit that dreary court job. I've committed myself full time to a life of science. Um... What's the story with the little car and all this equipment? Einstein and I are conducting a few experiments with this one-quarter scale model to work out a few hitches in my planned demonstration at the Hill Valley Expo in a couple of months. A radio-controlled car? <clears throat> no. Well, yes, but it'll be so much more than that. It will amaze the world. So, uh, thanks for watching Einstein while I've been away. It's been a pleasure. He's proven to be a surprisingly willing test subject. Almost as if he'd been working with me for years. More like decades. Aha! Got it! Got what? I'll show you! Ready to go, Einstein? Oh boy. Why do I get a bad feeling about this? Watch this! When this baby hits 23 miles per hour... Yeah, 
dang it, Emmett. Nothing to worry about. Nothing. <gasps> oh! Hey Doc, how's the room? It's a little cleaner than I would have imagined for a depression here or flop house. How are your investigations going? Um Alright. I saw him. Who? My grandpa. On his streetcar for just a second. Doc, we gotta find him. Why? Trixie thinks she's got something that could put Kid away, but Artie's the only one who can tell her for sure. I guess he's kind of her tutor or something. Ah, so that's the connection. When your grandfather disappeared from Hill Valley for two months, the bond between him and Miss Trotter was severed, but eventually leading to a timeline in which Trixie lost the nerve to betray Taylor. Yeah? We've got to find your grandfather. I. <clears throat> Tonight. Because I don't remember being out here tonight. Clearly, your interactions with my younger self two months ago have slightly altered my personal timeline. I never have a nerve to perform public experiments like he's doing. No matter, those experiments will be forgotten once I've seen Frankenstein. Frankenstein? Yes. Right now, my younger self is fiddling around out there with rocket propulsion systems for his demonstration at the expo. The thing that'll kick off your scientific career. Exactly. Now, the rockets are a horrible idea, and I'll soon realize that they'll never work. But eventually, I'll wander into that movie theater and see Frankenstein and clear my mind. I've kept the ticket stub from that movie in my wallet ever since, see? <coughs> Why? Because it's during this movie that I'll have the inspiration for my breakthrough at the expo. It doesn't have anything to do with reanimating the dead, does it? Not the way you're thinking, no. During that famous scene when Colin Clive turned the wheel that raised that shrouded figure into the tower and that bolt of lightning struck, well, let's just say more than one brain was reanimated that night. Uh, Alright, so. I'll do this one first. Any sign of Artie? Haven't spotted him yet. Alright, let's, let's go for Einstein. I haven't much luck getting Einstein off the courthouse. I'm not surprised. I need a smart dog with heights, even the wills. What can we do? Hmm. Just get my younger self distracted, and I'll handle the rest. Okay. All right. I better get back to fixing history. Be careful, Marty. All right, let's do this. Sorry, Emmett, but I'm gonna have to hey. tell. Oh boy. Yeah, sorry, Emmett, but. <laughs> hey, I got a hot lead for you. Oh, what is it? Um. No. Uh, oh, that's the one. Yeah, <laughs> that's the one. Young scientist strands dog on courthouse roof. What? Look over there. Look! Oh. Einstein's on the roof! Mr. Brown! Please, Miss Strickland, not now. Can't you see I've got a rather delicate situation on my hands at the moment? My trial run... Trial run? Public hazard, I call it. And I'm sure my editor will agree. This scientific enterprise of yours represents a clear and... Go, Doc! Go, 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 go! represents a clear and present danger to public safety. Your singing voice. Oh! <laughs> wow! Me, I have no he hit below the belt! What an asshole! I'm sorry, Evan, but that was below the belt. <laughs> but just imagine this world in which traffic jams and car crashes are a thing of the past. I might be more inclined to listen to you if your maiden voyage hadn't ended in a crash on one roof and a stranded dog on another. I am working on getting him down. I need How'd you get down? Clever dog. Well, fortune favors you tonight, but I warn you to be more careful in the future. Now, how to get that rocket car back down. Oh! Freaking... Oh, Einstein, come here! Alright. This one! Hey, boy. Take a whiff of this. You gotta love that nose. So he's in the movies? <laughs> I've been laying low, officer. 
sir, but I gotta go to the pictures once in a while. Hello, officer. Officer? I'll take it from here, but... But... We can talk of the Majestic, away from prying eyes. Uh, yeah, Einstein, you done good. Good boy. Alright. Alright, so next time on Let's Play Back to the Future, we're going to go in here and hopefully get all the help Trixie to freaking try to betray Kid Tannen and stuff.